What's going on guys, today we are going to create a calculator application in csap.net In such a way that it requires less line of code to make it In order to create a GUI application, it's better to use Microsoft official ID that is the latest version of Visual Studio So I am considering that you have installed it, so let's do it Open up Visual Studio and then click on create new project And from here, search for Windows form application and then select the csav click next and here goes application name and then click next next now select the form and go to the property of that form and change the text to now let's shrink this so that it looks a little bit like a calculator right there and go to toolbox if you don't see toolbox go to view and there you can find a toolbox it will display that option here and from here common controls drag and drop some button here we need a couple of button and then one text box now arrange all these button like now simply copy this and then paste and simply paste control c and then control b control b and one more time and now arrange this a little bit Now select all the controls and go to properties and from there uh, go to font section and there choose the font size to 14 and select the form and go to properties and change the background color like this one now select the button and change the text of each button so here goes C here goes clear entry that is CE. Now here goes modulus. Here goes divide. That is forward slash. Here goes multiply. Here goes subtraction. Here goes addition and here goes is equal to sign now here goes 7 here goes 8 here goes 9 Four. Here goes five. Here goes six. Here goes one. Here goes two. And here goes three. Here goes zero. Here goes period sign and let's delete that button and drag in simply drag this button over here and erase this and let's make this zero a little bit 
now select all these buttons right click go to properties and change the background color that goes back color and i'm going to use this one Now select the text box and go to the properties and change the name of this text box ext output now double click over that form and here first of all i am going to define one variable here private string It's equal to empty string and I'm going to define a couple of function here button underscore click and this function on takes an argument sender event arguments a now inside this function current calculation a plus is equal to I am going to take the button text so sender is button dot I am going to extract the button text value here and assign this to the current calculation variable and then I am going to display the button click text inside this text box so for that txt output dot text is equal to current calculation now i'm going to define another function private void button underscore equals underscore click object sender event as a Now inside this function, I'm going to define one variable, string variable. Calculation is equal to current calculation dot. I'm going to uh, convert that to a string. Because uh, in the current calculation, we have the combination of numbers n and then our operators that is plus minus divide and multiply. So I'm going to convert that to to a string and here I'm going to use try and catch exception handling here and text box dot text is equal to new data table for that I'm going to import this here above namespace using system dot data new data table dot compute all the heavy lifting is done by this compute function here this compute function accept expression and then filter so here we are going to pass our expression that is formatted calculation and then the filter is null we are going to apply nothing in our filter and then i am going to convert this to true string here all the heavy lifting is done by this data table compute method and here current calculation is equal to text box output dot text catch exception a txt output dot if there is any error occurs i am going to display here error the error like when you type one and then two double dot that is not valid expression in math so in that case we are going to display error and current calculation to empty string let's write another function for clearing the button private void button underscore clear underscore click here goes object sender 
इवेंट्स आर ए एंड व्हेन दिस बटन दैट मीन्स व्हेन दिस सी बटन क्लिक वी आर गोइंग टू क्लियर ऑल द टेक्स्ट बॉक्स वैल्यू सो टी एक्स टी आउटपुट डॉट टेक्स्ट इज इक्वल टू एम टी और यू कैन डिस्प्ले जैरो एंड कॉर इन कैलकुलेशन टू एम टी स्ट्रिंग एंड वन वर्ड फंक्शन प्राइवेट वाइड बॉटन क्लियर एंट्री क्लिक ऑब्जेक्ट सेंडर इवेंट आर्स ए दैट मीन्स वेन वी क्लिक दिस क्लियर एंट्री बटन वी आर गोइंग टू रिमूव वन आइटम फ्रॉम आवर टेक्स्ट बॉक्स सो फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इफ करेंट कैलकुलेशन डॉट लेंथ is greater than zero. The current calculation dot length is greater than zero means here above as you can see we are assigning current calculation value to the text box value. So if this text box is empty, that means we are not going to do clear entry. If there is some value in this text box, only then we are going to clear that text box. So for that we need to check if current calculation dot length is greater than zero. here what we are going to do is current calculation is equal to we are going to remove one item so current calculation dot we have a remove method provided by c sharp current calculation current calculation dot length minus 1 and then 1 here the remove function accept two arguments that is the starting index and then the number of element we are going to delete that is the int count we are going to remove one element uh, when this ce button is clicked and the starting index is we are going to return here current calculation dot length means it is going to return the length of the calculation uh, for example like if the calculation have 1 plus 1 then the length of this calculation is 3 but the index position is start from 0 1 2 2 so we have to subtract that length by minus 1 if the current calculation uh, dot length is greater than 0 only we are going to do that if not we are going to text txt output dot text is equal to current calculation that is uh, by the way empty text so simply save that go back to design and select this c button and go to here events and here click event here goes button clear click and similar process here select that c button go to events and select the clear entry click and select the equals button then go to events and click event is button click equal and select all those buttons except this control equal buttons c button c button and go to events and click event here goes button click simply save that now let's run our application we got error here let's see what is the error now run again now this is our simple calculator application here you can see now let's do some math 1 plus 2 and then equal to 3 we clear that first and 1 dot 2 plus 3 4.2 need to be displayed there there you go and like 7 first clear this 7 dot dot and uh, click that c button there you go one item is deleted there and 7 into 6 4 into 5 
equals 20 now 8 divided by 2 4 now 7 7 modulus 2 need to be 1 10 modulus 5 need to be 0 there you go so this is a simple calculator application using c sub dot net and using a very uh, simple technique as well uh, we wrote a less number of code in order to perform that calculation and the heavy lifting is done by this compute method of data table class so that's it in this tutorial so if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can also create this simple calculator application and Give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with us in order to stay connected with us you need to subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our channel because we have a target of reaching 100k this year so help us with that as well and i will see you in the next tutorials have a good day bye bye